this is Mitzi. I'm out and about exploring life from the mad side, so please leave a message. Hello, and welcome to Mitzi TV. I'm Mitzi Soretto, and with me today is my very special co-host, Teddy Tuttleu. We're here at the Town Hall in Kensington, London, for the Huglitz Teddy Bear Festival. Looks like President Teddy Roosevelt clearly knew who his friends were. Now be warned, things might get pretty wild around here, so please join us as we go to meet some bears. I'm here with Glenn Jackman, who runs the Huglitz Festival. Tell me a bit about how long this festival's been running. Yeah, this is our 20th year, I think. We started uh, the first one in 1989, so I guess, actually, it's probably the 21st year. I'm not quite sure how those numbers work, but uh, yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, we've, and we've, we actually do two a year, but um, I think we've done you know, maybe 60 over the course of that, that time. Right, and, and uh, tell me, is this a unique thing to the UK, or are these things in other parts of the world? Yeah, they, it's not unique to the UK. I think the teddy bear collecting hobby may be originated mainly in America, uh, but came over here 25 years ago, um, and since then has uh, spread all around the world. So that there are events in still in America, Canada, but also places like Japan, Australia, um, lots on the continent, Germany. Of course, Germany is one of the places where, um, well, the place, I guess, where teddy bears first originated. I'm here with Tina Jensen, who's from Tiny Bear, and she's visiting the festival from Denmark. Uh, tell us, Tina, what is special about your bears? Oh, they are small ones, and I do a lot about the expression in their faces, and I think it's, it's how they get their souls, and I think that's special for my bears. So you'd say then your bears have, have a soul? Yeah, definitely. Right. I mean, don't you think all bears, in a way, have a soul? Absolutely, their own soul. Absolutely. Right. Well, how so, long have you been doing this? For about seven years now. Seven, eight years. And you'd yeah. say it's rewarding? Yeah. Yeah. Better, better bears than people, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I'm here with Paul Littlejohn of LJ Bears, and I understand your bears are hug tested. What's that? They've been hug tested since an elderly lady looked at the first ones we made, gave them a big squeeze, and I said, if you keep that up, I'll be able to say that they're hug tested. And she, <laughs> she did all of those until she died. Every bear we made, she gave a hug to before it left. Oh, no. So do you, are you hiring any new old ladies? No. Nowadays, we reckon we know enough ourselves to be able to hug test them ourselves before they leave. Right. Now, I understand you're involved in something to do with um, Harley Davidsons. Well, I own a Harley Davidson myself, but also we're members of the Royal British Legion Riders Branch. And we spend most of our weekends out on the Harleys and the rest of the bikes because the guys all ride different bikes, basically raising money ready for the poppy appeal. Hence, we have some teddy bears with us today that have, especially for the poppy appeal, which uh, launches at the end of this month, ready for November. Right, okay, so, but uh, any of these bears riders as well? I've got one little guy who rides, he's down there with his bike today, and I've got my own one at home with his sheepskin jacket on an even bigger bike. I'm here with Dot Bird, who's a teddy bear doctor, and she's in the middle of performing some eye surgery on a patient. Uh, how long have you been practicing medicine on bears, Dot? Uh, over 15 years. 
And what, what gave you the calling to go into medicine for bears? I collect vintage bears myself and I've been repairing my own bears and then it escalated from there. I have many friends and clients who bring me their bears and uh, I'm very lucky because I love what I do. Well, tell me, um, do you ever have a patient that you can't help? No, no. There's, in all the years I've been restoring vintage bears, there was only one that was beyond my help. Oh. But he is still alive today. He's oh, just oh, very, well, he's very well dressed. Oh, I'm so relieved to hear that. Well, this sounds like a very worthwhile calling. Um, if someone wanted to get into this profession, what would you recommend? I would recommend collecting vintage bears to begin with, get to know them and handle as many as you can and gain as much knowledge as you can about the bears. Okay, thank you very much, You're Dot, welcome. and good luck to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Don James of Hugs Unlimited, who I understand is just back from Romania. That's right, yes. I walked 50 miles in the Capathia Mountains um, to a bear sanctuary for rescued bears. Between us, we raised £46,000, um, which is enough to keep all the bears in the sanctuary in food and veterinary bills for a whole year. Um, I've got very sore feet and it was very, very hard, um, but I'm very glad I did it because those bears will, you know, live out their lives in peace now. They've been rescued from illegal zoos. Um, some of them had had their claws taken out and their teeth taken out. Um, some were just sat behind restaurants um, in little cages where they couldn't even turn. Um, but now, thanks to the World Society for the Protection of Animals, we've got this huge sanctuary in Romania. There's 46 bears in it and they're hoping to rescue another 30 that they know of and they do this walk every year which is a brilliant experience <laughs> and, and how could people get involved if they wanted to do something well they could certainly um, sponsor me or they could do the walk themselves um, if they get in touch with WSPA um, they do the walk every year and it's a very worthwhile, it's a hard walk. <laughs> it is, it is the Transylvania Mountains, isn't it? <laughs> it is the Transylvanian Mountains and they're very high and you do go over them, you don't go through them. <laughs> um, but yes, I think if I can do it, anyone can. Great. Well, thanks very much for speaking to us. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. I'm here with Wayumi Watanabe of Mami Bear and uh, tell us, is this uh, a big thing in Japan, bears? Yes, it's very popular now in Japan. It's Oh, it started about 1990s, so it's compared to UK, it's quite new, but it's very popular now. All right, and yeah. so uh, do I understand you have fan clubs and all sorts of things there? Yeah, 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 there are two big organizations, yeah, it's called Japan Teddy Bear Association and Te Japan Teddy Bear uh, Fan Club, so yeah, we have a big fair as well. All right. Yeah, and, uh, lots so of people love teddy bears. Yeah, I, yeah. well, I have a special one. Uh, mm. Do you actually, um, do your bears speak Japanese at all, or are they bilingual? Mm, probably bilingual, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what do you do when you're not busy with bears? Um, I actually got two jobs. Uh, one is obviously te teddy bear artist, and the other job is actually a teddy, um, TV producer. Oh, yeah, right. I'm making a yeah, TV program for Japan Broadcasting Corporation. It's kind of equivalent to BBC. Oh, yeah. Are there bears in your shows? Uh, I actually my made bears, he might, he's yeah, going to audition. I, I made a special program about teddy bears. Did you? Yes, uh, it was in nine, um, 2002 because teddy bear uh, celebrated their 100 years anniversary on that year. So I made a program about teddy bears or two, two hours program. All right, yeah. well, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. and um, um, sadly, when, in, when I was filming in America, uh, the, uh, September the 11th happened. And lots of bears were sent to New York and the film that it was really um, touching. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, and Teddy Bear helps people to recover uh -huh. from the sadness. Yeah, so oh, quite lots right. of teddy bears tend to... So, so teddy bears are just not something to put on a shelf? They're, no, they're no, <laughs> absolutely not. Not mine, no, anyway. No, 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 <laughs> it's, mm, yeah, soulmate. Soulmate, exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, yeah. thank you very much for speaking yeah. to us. Yeah, thank you thank very you. much indeed. Thank you. <laughs> Reporting with a bunch of bears from Kensington, London, this is Mitzi Soretto and Teddy Tedaloo, signing off. <laughs>